Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal said on Saturday that there is still a shortage of vaccine doses against the coronavirus disease and added that if the centre provides the sufficient number of doses, all eligible beneficiaries can be inoculated within a span of just three months. Chief Minister Kejriwal said three crore doses are needed, of which the Delhi government has received 40 lakh doses. We need 2.6 crore doses. At least 10 workers died in a quarry in Kadapa district after a large quantity of explosive material used for blasting rocks exploded on Saturday. The incident happened in Andhra Pradesh when the workers were drilling holes in granite to insert the explosive material. As Assam waits to see who its next chief minister will be, Sarbananda Sonowal and Himanta Biswa Sarma rushed to Delhi on Saturday to hold talks with the BJP's leadership. Though the BJP won a decisive victory in the recently held assembly elections, the party hasn't taken a decision on Assam leader yet. BJP President JP Nadda had said in Kolkata that the Saffron Party's leadership was preoccupied with the post poll violence in Bengal because of which a decision could not be taken regarding Assam yet. There was a minor fire on board India's aircraft carrier INS Vikramaditya on Saturday morning, a Navy spokesperson said. The fire was doused and all personnel on board are safe, the spokesperson said in a statement. An inquiry into the incident is being ordered, he said, adding that the aircraft carrier is in Karnataka's Karwar Harbour. Bollywood actor Kangana Ranaut has tested positive for COVID-19. The actor shared her health update on Instagram with a long note. She wrote that she had quarantined herself and that she's sure she will demolish the coronavirus, which for her is nothing but a small-time flu. She shared, I was feeling tired and weak with slight burning sensation in my eyes for past few days, was hoping to go to Himachal so got my test done and now the result has come and I'm positive. There is increasing evidence to suggest that COVID-19 is not just a disease of the lungs, as initially thought, but can also cause dangerous blood clots, which need to be immediately removed to save limbs in some cases, say experts. Global studies have shown that the prevalence of blood clot formation, known as deep vein thrombosis in hospitalized COVID-19 patients is 14-28% to 28%, and is a lower 2-5% to 5% for arterial thrombosis.